Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra 2 Designs and today I have this beautiful slimline card to share with you for the Walking on Sunshine video hop. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the hop but I'll, first I'll get into the card here. So I'm going to make a slimline card and I like to make my slimline cards uh, seven and a half by eight and a half and then I trim it or sorry I score at the three and a half mark. So sorry it's seven by eight and a half scored at three and a half. And so here you can see I just took a full size sheet of cardstock. This is Nina Desert Storm. And I've cut four inches off of the card base because that will give me what I need to make my base. And then in that same piece of cardstock that I used, I just cut it to the three and a half mark. So I made my base and my panel out of the same piece of cardstock. And there's very little waste this way. Um, I don't always use the same cardstock for the panel and the base, but in this case, because it is Nina Desert Storm, I did actually opt to do that. So I am going to use the Simon Says Stamp Hello Sunshine Stamp Set, and I've just got this like sunburst stamp that I'm going to use repeatedly and stamp it across the panel. And I'm going to use a bunch of different oxide inks here. I'm going to have Kitsch Flamingo, Carved Pumpkin, Squeezed Lemonade, um, Twisted Citron, I missed a color, uh, Savage Patina, Mermaid Lagoon, and Wilted Violet. And I'm just going to stamp them across the panel using my Misty, and I kind of, it takes me a minute to measure it out, but I just overlap two of the rays on each stamp, and I stamp it twice on each uh, color. So a little bit about the hop. This is uh, a sunshine hop. Uh, it's starting to warm up here a bit, and I think we're celebrating the idea of summer. I'm in Canada, so it actually is raining a ton right now, and I think... Uh, but last week we actually had a bit of a like a rain snow storm so it's not quite summer for me yet but I cannot wait for summer and summer to me is uh, a very bright very uh, filled with colors and filled with uh, I don't know just happiness I think so for my card I did opt to do rainbow color because that's kind of one of my things I love rainbow colors I love bright colors and uh, You'll find the next person in the hop uh, in the, my description down below. There's a link for the next person. Go and check them out. There's always amazing creators in these hops that just come up with such stunning ideas and great cards and other projects. So make sure you go and check out the other people in the hop. Um, leave a like, leave a comment if you enjoy what they've shown you and uh, consider subscribing if you would. All of us are, are creative crafters and we, we love the support and the love that this community has to offer. Uh, I think it's one of the best communities to be a part of personally and uh, I just appreciate it everybody so much. Uh, I believe there are also a couple of giveaways going on throughout this hop so make sure to listen and like look for the description of the people giving something away. They'll have their rules in the description box so make sure to pay attention to whatever uh, their requirements are to enter those uh, giveaways and you can also type in the hashtag which is hashtag walking on sunshine um, it'll be able, you'll be able to find all the videos in this hop if you get lost in the links or anything like that so make sure to check everybody out leave them a like leave them a comment consider subscribing and uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video and checking out the hop so I am still stamping through my colors. I did start with my center color, which was Twisted Citrone, and then I worked out from there simply because of placement on the card. Um, I could have measured it. I didn't because I was too lazy to do that, and I have a tendency to eyeball things. But I could have measured it out. I just opted not to and then just kind of started in the center point and then did uh, two across, and then I had to move the cardstock. Now, I could have brought out my bigger Misty. Um, I do actually own it, the scrapbook Misty. My husband bought it for me for Christmas last year, uh, and it's awesome. It just it's harder to get in frame. So until I change up my um, filming process here, it, it's a little difficult to get the full size Misty in the in the frame nicely. But you could absolutely use that if you have it. Um, this kind of technique does work better with a, a Misty simply because I'm I'm lining them up. So it gives me the opportunity to. Uh, move it around and readjust it before I stamp anything and I don't have to worry about it moving. If you have a steady hand and a good eye, you could absolutely do this with a block. Um, I don't, I'm not that confident in my stamping, so I wouldn't do it with an acrylic block and I own a Misty, so I just, I tend to use what I have, but, but yeah, so this is how that turned out and I love it. So I opted to use a sentiment out of that same stamp set and it just says, um, be the sunshine. And I think uh, with what everything that's going on in the world right now, uh, I think it's, you have to remember sometimes that uh, you can be the sunshine in your own day or in someone else's if you're are lacking for some happiness in, in your life that day. So I, I, th I have to remind myself of that sometimes because I can get bogged down with the negativity that's going on. And I, I try really hard to be a very positive 
positive person and celebrate the positivity of life. And I think sometimes I get stuck in the negativity because it's it can be so easy to get stuck there. So I think this was a really good reminder to myself even that uh, just because the day is looking a bit dreary doesn't mean you can't be the sunshine. So I, th- I just thought it was a really inspirational sentiment. So that's why I chose to use that today. And I am kind of doing a little creative stamping here. Um, I want to be the on top of my sunbursts and then sunshine on the bottom. And I just, I can't cut my stamps apart. Uh, uh, I've seen people do it. I admire that they can do it. I just can't do it. It uh, it hurt my heart a little bit when people cut their stamps apart. Not because they can't. They're their stamps. They can do whatever they like with them. I just, I just can't bring myself to do it. So I just did a little creative stamping there. You see that I... I kind of, I've lined it up where I want it. And then I kind of, you can see half of my head kind of poke in the corner there as I try to only ink up the part of the stamp that I want. And you could absolutely use a scrap piece of paper or a post-it note or something like that to kind of mask off the other piece. I didn't. I was a little bit braver than that. Uh, But you absolutely could, which would have made this simpler than what I'm doing. But this is just me being lazy because... I didn't want to mask anything. So that's all. You could absolutely do that. And then I did opt to trim this down. So originally I thought I wanted this to be the full face of the card. Um, but in the end I opted to bring in a little bit of black shimmer cardstock because I wanted to kind of frame it on the top and the bottom. Uh, so I trimmed off, I think in the end my panel is three and a quarter instead of three and a half and then my mat is like slightly bigger than that so you see here I have this black shimmer cardstock and I'm going to just trim it to be uh, slightly smaller than the three and a half mark as well so that it had a bit of a border but you could still see the craft Uh, so it's kind of creating like a double border on the top and the bottom this is kind of what I thought there originally I thought that I would leave it as just the full front but I ended up wanting just that little bit of extra this isn't a very in-depth card like this is for me it's actually a pretty simple card Um, but I think it turned out stunning and I'm really trying to embrace more uh, negative space and more simplicity in some of my cards not every card has to be you know everything you don't have to throw everything at it I'm just trying to be better about appreciating the negative space and and giving it its room to breathe in my my creating so I'm trying to challenge myself to and and use smaller stamps see I've had this stamp set since it came out in a kit from Simon Says Stamp oh I believe it came out in 2019 maybe 20 no 19 I believe um and I haven't used it because it had a bunch of smaller stamps and I tend to struggle with smaller stamps it's not something that I'm great uh, with coming up with ideas for and with that um, so I kind of go back to stuff that I know so like rainbow bright colors that's something that I know and that I love to put in my cards so trying something new I kind of also incorporated something that old for me uh, so that's just kind of my thought process there. Uh, yeah, so I, I'd love to try out more smaller stamps and get a better feel for how to use them in a, a card, especially a slimline card like this, because there's so much real estate to work with. But I think it worked out really well with the design that I came up with. So that is the card I have for you guys in this hop. I would love if you'd leave me a comment, leave me a like, consider subscribing if if you enjoyed what you saw. I do new videos every Monday and I join in on hops whenever I get the opportunity. Make sure to check out the next person in the link description below. And thank you so much, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.